Is DaCosta leaving Chicago Med due to a hectic work schedule? How are fans reacting to the news of DeVito's exit from the show? My job's at stake. And what does losing April and Natalie mean for season seven? It's heavy. Grab your tissues. Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's see why we're bidding farewell to two original characters. Yaya DaCosta. We were simply devastated when we heard the sad news about her departure. And you? Before the actress became famous for her role as April Sexton, she had a different career. Turns out that back in the day, she finished second on cycle three of America's Next Top Model. From there, she graced the covers of magazines and also landed various supporting roles. But it was in 2015 that she was cast as April. To date, Yaya has appeared in more than 100 episodes of Chicago Med. When you look at behind the scenes footage, Yaya always looks as if she's having loads of fun and gets along with all of her co-stars. I'm here with the diva, and she has something she would like to say. Oh, God. <laughs> she's perfected it, y'all. So for all our digging, we couldn't find anything scandalous about DaCosta's exit. However, the cast of this medical drama all put in long hours to bring their characters to life. Six days last week, we put in 16 hours. We had sleep, we had eat, man, we barely took showers. Might her reason for departing have anything to do with the hectic work schedule? The answer is... Nope. DaCosta simply opted to leave at the end of her contract. It has been nearly six years, and we're sure she feels it's time for something new. The actress has already lined up a new starring role on Fox's Our Kind of People. In her upcoming role, she'll play a single mom, Angela Vaughn, as she sets out to reclaim her family's name until she uncovers a dark secret about her past. Just because she's moving on to new projects doesn't mean she'll not miss her Chicago Med family. When her exit from the show was announced, DaCosta took to Instagram to give a shout out to everyone. Her list included the series creator Dick Wolf, showrunners, producers, and directors, as well as the cast and crew. And don't worry, she didn't miss the most important ones, writing, I'm going to miss everyone dearly. And of course, all of you who watch the show religiously and have also become part of the One Chicago family. With love and gratitude, farewell. This exit leaves many questions about April and Ethan's future, doesn't it? Keep watching. We'll discuss the top theories soon, but first, from one former model to another. Tori DeVito. Like her co-star, this actress had a full career before landing the job as medical doctor. This former model has described her roles in commercials as a stepping stone to TV and film jobs. She has another first love, though. She's also a talented violinist. Before her Chicago Med days, she played with the Tommy Davidson Band at the Sunset Room in Hollywood, among other musical gigs. As the years went on, though, the acting bug won out. When asked what made her want to go into acting, Jim Carrey was an influence for me. Me yeah. too, actually. I used to impersonate him at every family dinner. But I didn't know that that was like translated into like wanting to act because I grew up playing violin so you know, performing was a part of my thing. As a diehard fan, you won't be surprised to hear that her character, Dr. Manning, has appeared in more than 100 episodes. That's quite an investment of her time and energy. Tori confirmed the sad news of her departure on social media, writing, well, looks like the cat is out of the bag. All good things must come to an end. It has been pure joy to bring Dr. Natalie Manning to life. Thank you to all you loyal watchers who adored her as much as I did. In response, fans took to the comments section to express their shock and disappointment. One said, I'm so, so sad. She's a brilliant character and will always be in my heart. She made Chicago Med so enjoyable. Wishing you luck on your other projects, Tori. Another wrote, Tori, you carried that show. I'm going to miss you and your character terribly. So why on earth is DeVito leaving the medical drama? Well, it seems to be the same reason as DaCosta. Nothing good lasts forever, and it's time for the actress to embrace new adventures. On that note, DeVito has joined the cast of the indie feature, Skelly. Apart from that, she might also want to enjoy some time focusing on her private life. Yeah, she recently revealed her new boyfriend, Chicago Cubs manager David Ross. Love him madly, she wrote via Instagram, talking about love and the ED. And lots of new little budding romance everywhere. As one fan exclaimed on IG, wait, what? I was really hoping for a happy ending for her and Crockett. Now we know April and Natalie are part of some of the biggest storylines in the history of the series. Oh, and don't forget their ties to the other shows in the One Chicago universe. This begs the question, what does losing April and Natalie mean for season seven? and for their on-screen love interests. New plotline possibilities. First things first, our favorite series has been renewed for season seven. Last year, NBC made a big move by handing out multi-year renewals to all three One Chicago dramas. I just got the news that all of our One Chicago shows 
have been picked up for three more seasons. Are you also wondering when the next season's going to premiere? Unfortunately, we don't have a date yet. However, with the season six finale fast approaching, there's no harm in speculating about plot lines, right? Be warned, possible spoilers ahead. First up is April. As you might know, ever since she made a risky move that saved a life, April has been considering a career as a nurse practitioner. Last we saw, she was even looking into schools. So we won't be surprised if Chicago Med follows Chicago Fire's example when it rode out Foster. This means we might say goodbye to April as she leaves for an advanced degree off screen. If the writers decide on this route, there is a silver lining to it. How so? Well, it means the show could bring her back to the ED if DaCosta ever wanted to return and the show had the story. One thing still unclear though, and that's what'll happen to the romance between April and Ethan. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Next up, let's consider how Natalie might be written out. As expected, the truth came out about her stealing the heart failure trial meds for her mom. Were you also surprised when Will agreed to keep things between them? Hmm, well, it's not unlikely that the truth manages to sneak out, for whichever reason. That would of course end up in Natalie losing her medical license. About her romance with Crockett, it remains to be seen how the writers will deal with this one, but if you have any ideas, do let us know. Either way, we can't deny it, we'll be bidding farewell to both regulars. Looking on the bright side, it makes room for new faces, new character options. Season 6 introduced a couple of new women who could join the cast for Season 7, although not as a nurse or a pediatrician. Dr. Sabina Varani established herself as a skilled doctor and became a love interest for Will, even though Will messed that up after crossing a line with her clinical trial. And another option for a new regular would be Asha Cooper, as the med student Vanessa Taylor. Yes, neither of these women would fill the roles previously held by Natalie or April, but it could open up many storylines going forward. Good news, you needn't expect any other exits before Season 7. Even though the rest of the cast's contracts are currently being negotiated, it looks like the remainder of the original cast will continue. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this, why not check out our video about Chicago Med's real-life partners? And as always, stay awesome!